Do you remember an incident at a South Attleboro Denny's in December of 1996? Uh, yeah, I guess. So I can drink beer and watch TV? Because, you know, Kiss Shave Santa, Sean. But Mrs. Claus, who would kidnap Santa? Well, Ace, that's what I want you boys to find out. Someone stole Santa? That does not rock! Easy, Gene. Guys, let's go save Christmas to the Kiss Copter! Yeah! Sweet, it's Kiss Safe Santa. Hang on, Santa, we're coming. Hurry, boys, the eggs are hatching. What do we do? Wait a second. Everyone knows pterodactyls can't stand the screech of a guitar. It's working. Hey, Santa, be careful. Oh, no. Careful, Hang Santa. Hang on, Santa. My own copy of Kiss Safe Santa. You just practice that guitar, Santa. Next time, we'll let you do a solo. Don't encourage him. <laughs> so, Mr. Griffin, how'd you feel to be a bachelor on the prowl once again? Eh, it's not as great as you might think. I guess I just don't have the same way with women that I used to. <coughs> mm, that was nice. That was nice. I, I had a really great time with you today, beautiful stranger. What's your sign? <coughs> ah, gross. I still think you're neat, though. I think that would be a bad idea. And I know something about bad ideas. I'm, I'm telling you, Juice, she's screwing around behind your back. And, and if I were in your Bruno Malias, I wouldn't stand for it. Another Mai Tai? Thanks. So listen. Jeez, oh, Max, I, I don't know about this. I went to Catholic school. I'm not sure this is allowed. Ah, oh, what the hell? Oh, dear. Sister Mary Joseph, it appears Peter Griffin has entered a synagogue. Lock and load, Brides of Christ! Excellent, excellent. Brian, tape this for me. Ooh, sorry, the VCR hasn't worked since you tried to tape Monday Night Football. Do you have the express written consent of ABC Sports and the National Football League? Just ABC. Oh, boy, I remember my first job. I was in a folk music trio. Hey, how about here's to you, Mrs. Fleckenstein? Yeah, you've been pitching that for an hour, but it's just not a very attractive name. Oh, oh, fine, fine. And I, I suppose we're also not going with parsley, sage, rosemary, and Lowry's seasoning salt. <laughs> That's it, I'm going to numb. Oh, I am not looking forward to what you're going to be like once they do this to you. Oh. I love chocolate, but I can't eat it because then I'll get fat. But it's so good. Well, at first I wanted you to fail, but then I realized you'd be out of the house five days a week, which means I'd be free to throw some of my sexy parties. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pewterschmidt, please, can we still be pals? See, see, look, I made a picture of you and me out of glue and macaroni. Wow, Peter, that means a lot to me because you made it. Really? No, get out of here! Mr. Pewterschmidt, Seabreeze is gone. What? I can't find Brian. Peter, do you know what I'm going to do to you if Brian took off with my Seabreeze? I think I have an idea. Yeah, this sucks worse than that time I was on Survivor. How dare you wash your clothes in our drinking water, BB? Now how are we gonna survive in this harsh, unforgiving terrain? All right, Donnie, make sure the wheel goes all the way around. Uh, oh, no! Head hunters. Ah, am I fired? You'll have to excuse Peter. He can be a little tactless sometimes. Yeah, it's like the time he soiled himself at that dinner party. I was so sorry to hear that your father passed away. Yes, it spread through his body so fast, but he's at peace now, and the whole thing... Uh, oh! I, I, I rented those for Peter. He got banned from the video store for taping over their movies. 
Rosebud. Is his sled. It was his sled from when he was a kid. There, I just saved you two long, boobless hours. The worst job I've ever had. Well, except for one. Uh, excuse me, would you like to taste my smoked meat log? And I just want to say, well, I'm glad you married my daughter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, actually, it wasn't me, it was... No, no, it, it's okay. I'm used to it. Oh, look, there's the star on the town Christmas tree. We're following it home, just like the three wise men. So, what'd you get him? Gold. Gold? Uh, I thought we agreed on a $5 limit here. Yeah, I just got him a crappy little bottle of myrrh. Hello, frankincense, you always do this. Hey, oh, okay, hey. okay, okay, look. We'll put everything together and put all our names on it. No! Oh, not yes. so I mean, yeah. this guy no. is the No, 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 no. Back oh, right. Ryan, what should I do? I haven't been this confused since the end of No Way Out. How does Kevin Costner keep getting work? And I was on my way to see Maury. He couldn't go to the bathroom by himself anymore, but his indomitable spirit... My glasses! I can't see a thing without my glasses. Why won't you let me get laser surgery? Because I just don't think it's safe. Okay, I just need to make a quick incision here and we should be all done, Mrs. Wilson. Luke, use the force. Really? Because I was just going to make it... Use the force. Okay. <laughs> Are you happy? I've never been happy. I know where I go when I want to relax. I know the guy that owns this place! What? I said I know the guy that... Oh, I'll tell you later. I love this song. Yeah, it was just like that other Jewish musical we saw. A fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But here, in our little village of Anatevka, you might say, each one of us... Corn! Corn! Okay. Sure, Lois. I mean, look at Elroy Jetson. He was a child actor, and he turned out just fine. Do you know who I am? I'm Elroy Jetson. Yeah, yeah. Come back when you have some money. Take him home, Bam Bam. Bam Bam Bam. I don't want to go home. Take me to Astro's grave. Besides, we haven't spent any time together since we played Operation. I'm going for the funny bone, Dad. Oh, you touched the sides. Oh, jeez, he's waking up. Quick, let's get him back to the bus station. Yeah, Peter's not exactly the most understanding guy when it comes to you and other men. Like that time at the movies? Uh, I, I, uh, uh, oh, oh, this is, oh, my, this is terribly awkward, but I, 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 I wanted to tell you something, but I, 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 oh, I seem to be so charmingly befuddled. Ah, oh, that Hugh Grant is so handsome. Oh, is that how it is? Come here, you home-wrecking bastard! Uh, uh, don't do it, Dad, he's bigger than you! And when you went to that concert? Thank you, thank you very much. This next one is for all the ladies out there. And then there was last Saturday night. Oh, look at that handsome man. You son of a bitch! Ugh, this isn't the first time my wit has gone unappreciated. And in the comedy competition, Stewie Griffin receives three and a half stars. Challenger Sinbad receives Four stars, we have a new champion, Sinbad. Stewie, uh, any parting words? Um, you know, I, I got beat, pure and simple. You, you are a very funny man. Men be acting all like zombies at the mall. God, ain't that the truth? Were you followed? Don't worry, I've got a decoy. Hey, Lois. Hubba, hubba. Whoa, Lois, you put on a few, huh? Well, I never... That's all right, honey. I don't think he was the one anyway. Now let's go get Sundays. Yeah, like those two weeks you spent narrating your own life? I walked into the kitchen and sat down at the table. I looked with a grimace at the questionable meal Lois had placed in front of me. Of course, I'd never tell her how disgusted I was with her cooking, but somehow I think she knew. 
Lois had always been full of energy and life, but lately I had begun to grow more aware of her aging. The bright, exuberant eyes that I had fallen in love with were now beginning to grow dull and listless with the long fatigue of a weary life. I awoke several hours later in a daze. Look, you're not one to talk, all right? You, you remember that time I gave you apple juice and told you it was wine? I think you are a special person. Thanks. No, now, now, come on. I'm, I'm, being, I'm being serious. I'm going to be serious here for, for a second. Are, are you going you, you to listen to me? Are you going to listen to me so, so I can tell you that I respect you? <laughs> Maybe it is time for me to get a job. Yeah, too bad you always blow it in the interview. So, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing your... son? Yeah, sure. Hey, if there's one thing I'm good at doing, it's cheering people up. Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey, John Bonet's untimely death is a tragedy, and I will not rest until I find her killer. Or killers. Oh, really? Don't, don't bother. Nothing's going to bring our baby back. <laughs> no, 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 I insist. I will make it my life's work to find We're out... We're fine, just drop it. Brian, will you watch Dewey for a minute? Sure. And please keep a close eye on him. Remember what happened last time. Stewie, get down before you hurt yourself. Shut up! You're not my mother! Good God, are you all right? Fine, why do you ask? Oh, look how low I've sunk. Taking credit for something a smart Jewish person did. Oh, that's okay, Peter. No, no, no. People have been doing that for too damn long. It is the white devil that has propagated, exacerbated, instigated, instigated, line... It instigated our hatred like a Buick. God, wait, what was I thinking when I agreed to this? It, this is so degrading. It's, I, this is worse than the time I was at the Friars Club and Sun Yi's retainer fell out of my pants. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know, Lois, but I feel lower than a bow-legged caterpillar. <laughs> now here's Roy. It's those sirens. They had us all completely under their spell, like that hypnotist at the airport Hilton. <laughs> and three. Oh, wow. Were, were we just hypnotized? Well, that's incredible. I don't remember a thing. Why do I taste crutch? Look here, you're obviously taking us for saps, but we're not. Now fess up, or I'll do to you what I did to John Lennon. John, have you met Yoko? Yoko, John? Well, fine. Refuse my offer. Get booted out of this place and wind up like Linda Evans. Linda Evans, we have a spill in aisle nine. Linda Evans, spill in aisle nine. Your friend's birthday party sounds like fun, Chris. Yeah, but I hope for your sake the cake's better than the last party I went to. Ah! Oh, God! Coconut! Hey, look, here's a picture of your great-great-granddad, Osias Griffin. He owned one of the first dozen telephones. Hello? Hello, Jonathan? No, what number are you calling? Seven. Well, this is three. Oh, sorry. And his great-grandpa was Thomas Griffin, a great philosopher. Thomas, would you please go look for a job? Why? Thank you, but I can't stay. It's Friday night. I've got to go to Temple. Temple? Oh, like Indiana Jones? Get up already! I don't know why she even bothers. Me and Lois's old man have never gotten along. Hey, I got an email from Mr. Beautyschmidt. I swear, sometimes I feel like I'm married to a child. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade around the corner fudge is made? <laughs> you better watch who you're calling a child, Lois, because if I'm a child, then you know what that makes you? A pedophile. And I'll be damned if I'm going to stand here and be lectured by a pervert. We now return to Touched by an Angel. Now, where exactly did the angel touch you? Here? Oh, come on! Who are you gonna believe? I got a freaking halo! Shh, shh, shh. Huh? Dad, can you help me with my math? Mr. Shackleford says if I don't learn it, I won't be able to function in the real world. Okay, now what you gotta do is go down the road past the old Johnson place, and you're gonna find two roads, one parallel and one perpendicular. Now keep going until you come to a highway that bisects it at a 45-degree angle. Solve for X. Please tell me this doesn't have anything to do with Tony Robbins. Oh, no, I learned my lesson. Could you sign this book, please? 
Tony Robbins hungry. Yeah, I don't know, Lois. Splitting up didn't work too well for Pac-Man and his wife. Hey, come on, buddy. Forget about her. Yeah, you're too good for her anyway. Yeah, cheer up, man. Hey, hey, you want to eat us? Up, oh, 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 turn him <laughs> blue. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to get us. He's, he's still he's got, got it. He's going to get us. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. No, he's not budging. Come on, let's go to Cubert's. Why, Lois? I'll tell you why. Your, your faux pas last night at the concert was so upsetting, I had to call a university professor to tell me what phrase I should use to describe it. Use faux pas. Thanks, professor. Still no sign of the deaf team, I notice. Hey, you guys are gonna be late. Maybe they're not in there. Hi, Peter Griffin. So where do you want to go? We can go anywhere except the disco. They don't let me in there anymore. Crafty Mexicans and your glass candy.